Hi, thank you for taking the time to get on this Product B presentation. I'm going to jump right into this. Uh, what I'm going to start out with is uh, Bill Andrews, who is one of the world's leading researcher, if not the leading researcher on telomeres and telomerase. He actually discovered the human telomerase gene along with his research team. Now, uh, Bill is a geneticist, uh, been a geneticist for over 30 years, and he founded a lab called Sierra Sciences, which is out of Reno, Nevada. And they've been working together doing what no other lab in the world is doing for over 20 years now, and that is exclusively working on reversing the aging process in human beings. Bill's been uh, uh, spotlighted in a lot of articles and a lot of TV shows, talk shows, and news shows uh, because of his research and what he's been doing. Um, so I want to go into uh, what this research incorporates when it comes to telomeres, Bill's involvement with that, and how a collaboration with a gentleman by the name of uh, John Anderson has gotten this research to market. Now Bill Andrews and his research team could actually reverse the aging process in every parameter measured in the lab. The only problem was is that getting that that research to market there was a huge obstacle and that is the compounds they were using were synthetic chemicals which were too toxic for human consumption but they could prove one thing for sure that they could reverse the aging process that was no longer science fiction so I want to set this up with a video by Dr. Joseph Mercola who knows Bill Andrews listen to what he says about Bill here and pay special attention to the pictures that he shows during his lecture Telomere lengthening. Has anyone heard of telomere lengthening? Who hasn't? Most people. Would you like to know about that? All right, let's talk about that. Dr. Bill Andrews is a friend of mine, associate. He is the man who has discovered the telomerase gene not too long ago. He's a, bi a PhD biologist and he runs a company. The newest research, Dr. Andrews is one of the leading scientists in this area, is to find therapies or processes that will actually cause telomerase to work in somatic cells. They can take cells of like an 80-year-old rat equivalent, skin cells, and convert it to an infant skin cell. Literally reverse aging in every parameter measured. It's just astounding to think that's even possible. So not only do you slow down aging, you can actually reverse it. So that is astounding, right? Taking something that was old and making it young again. Not just giving you more energy and maybe not having as much joint pain or something like that. We're talking about taking something that was old and making it young again. That's astounding. So it begins with telomeres. They were discovered back in the 1950s by the Russians. But lately they become the hot topic. Why? Because baby boomers are turning 65 at the rate of 10,000 a day. And so they want to know what it is that's causing them to get older. Well, in the last 20 to 30 years, they've learned exactly what these telomeres uh, are doing and what role they play in aging and degenerative issues. Now, again, the Russians discovered these back in the 1950s, but the, the, the technology wasn't advanced enough to really know what was going on with these telomeres. So you have a, over 100 trillion cells in your body, and they're all clumped up together, and they make up who you are. Uh, in the middle of every one of those cells is the nucleus, the power center of the cell. And within the nucleus is your chromosomes. Within the chromosomes is the DNA, this yellow strand. That's your genetic material. That's basically who we are physically. It's all coded in this DNA. So if my hair is brown, then the DNA is telling my hair cells, or th you know, the cells in my hair, to be brown. If my eyes focus at 2020, it's my DNA that's getting those cells to act and respond that way. Uh, all the way down to the level of my skin and how soft and smooth it is to how I recall memories. This all is traced back to the genetic imprint in our DNA. Now, uh, they measure these chromosomes in what's called bases. And from tip to tip, they're 100 million bases long. Well, what they've discovered is that where the telomeres are, when you're born, it's the last 10,000 bases on the chromosome. So on each tip, it's the last 10,000 bases. Now, what they've learned is uh, that through normal uh, biological processes like 
cell duplication and, and DNA replication that these bases fall off as cells divide and they know that when you hit right around 5,000 bases you're gonna die uh, you know old age or degenerative issues because the DNA that that double helix when you hit the 5,000 bases it starts to unravel it reaches a point that's called senescence which means the cell is dead it can no longer operate and so they've learned that now over the last 20 or 30 years so let's just follow this process in the life of a cell now the this process that we're going to go through and the DNA and the shortening of the telomere bases every one of these issues have been linked to that process so loss of memory wrinkles gray hair balding muscle and skeletal atrophy low energy weight gain incontinence and the more serious degenerative issues like Parkinson's lupus diabetes um, Alzheimer's all of these different things have been linked to this process that I'm about to show you so let's take this cell it could be a skin cell a bone cell an organ cell whatever and it has a lifespan it's let's just say that it's gonna go through its lifespan and around 12 this is 12 o'clock up here it's gonna die at 12 o'clock so let's take the chromosome that would be in the middle of this cell and and <clears throat> you know uh, use this X as that chromosome within this original cell so here's the what it says here the DNA is the molecule of life the DNA is inside this chromosome so the cell is going along doing its job and around 830 it knows that death is uh, is about to happen to the cell it knows it's gonna die soon and so it prepares for death by copying the DNA it's called DNA replication and so what it does is it takes this chromosome and it copies it it makes a second one only it looks different right it's it's not as long as the original chromosome because remember it's losing bases and along with those bases is going the DNA this molecule of life the DNA strand we were losing some of that right so then this cell comes up around 1230 it knows it's gonna die I mean around 1130 it knows it's gonna die so it splits this cell leaves the body as metabolic waste and it dies and this one's taking its place only the original chromosome with all the DNA left the body with that cell and this copy is running the new cell so is it a hundred percent the same or is it inferior well the answer is it's inferior right it doesn't have all the same information it lost a little bit off of the tips now you wouldn't notice much from one cell replication but let's follow this sequence over and over so this cell now goes through it's doing its job around 8 30 9 o'clock it's preparing to die so it copies the chromosome and there's the new copy and it's even shorter than the one that was already shorter than the original and it goes up splits and puts this chromosome in the new cell now this chromosome is running the cell and this cell is going through doing its life you know, doing its job around 8 30 9 o'clock it prepares to die and it copies the chromosome and it puts that chromosome into the new cell so do you see a bad pattern happening here uh, every one of these issues have been related and pinpointed to this process so Bill Andrews coined this phrase when cells divide telomeres get shorter and bad things happen when telomeres get short okay so they've literally licked, uh, linked the ticking clock within the human body that causes aging and degenerative issues that we look at aging as you know wrinkled hair or wrinkled skin gray hair balding you know hunched over or, or skeletal systems not quite the same that's what we thought of aging in the past but that's not aging what's happening is we're losing the DNA they pinpointed this process to a particular spot in every cell at the tip of every chromosome so very fascinating information and they've known that now for over 20 years and that was actually awarded the Nobel Prize in physiology and medicine there's no disputing that that's what's happening and so uh, Bill Andrews uses a great analogy of a shoestring so pretend this is your chromosome that very critical part within the cell and the DNA is running right through and the plastic tip on the shoestring is the telomere now remember we're born with 10,000 bases so there's the whole new plastic tip what happens to that shoestring when the plastic tip wears off well the same thing that happens to the DNA when you hit about 5,000 bases the shoestring starts to fray so does the DNA when it's down to this level here where it's completely frayed 
and no longer usable. That's called the Hayflick point because Professor Hayflick is the one that discovered that. The cell is now dead. It can't divide and uh, you have problems. Now, through this whole process of getting from 10,000 to 5,000, we see all the different symptoms that show up. And so when we're young, we are dividing and losing telomeres. We're losing those bases. But we haven't been alive long enough to lose very many. So we don't see signs of aging right here. But when we're in our middle age, we've lost half of that information that's, you know, would be running our cell optimally. The cell's not running optimally anymore. It's inferior in its job it's able to do. And so symptoms of aging start to show up because you lost half the information. Your hair is turning gray or you're balding. You're wearing reading glasses. Your hearing's not as good. Your memory's not as sharp. You don't recover from workouts as fast. Your energy's harder to you know, maintain. And all of these different issues that show up with aging. And by the time you're in your 60s, you just don't have a lot of information left. Biologically, your, your ticking clock is about ticked out. So again, great information. And you can speed that, this process up. You can speed up your telomeres being lost through certain lifestyle choices like smoking, drinking alcohol, uh, being introduced to toxicity, lack of nutrition, lack of exercise, and stress. Stress is the number one thing that shortens these the fastest. So they can measure your telomeres now and tell you where you're at in the process of telomere bases. They actually did it on the Today Show with Nancy Snyderman. Uh, uh, Spectra Cell Labs came in, took her blood, went back, measured her telomere bases, came back on the air and said, well, it's not good news. Nancy, you're 59 years old, but your telomere bases are more like you're 70 years old. And she said, well, that's very interesting because I did abuse alcohol. I have a very stressful job and I eat nothing but fast food. They've literally linked trans fats to attacking the telomeres. So lifestyle choices could speed up your aging process. And on the front of the cover of USA Today, they were talking about kids being introduced to violence and, and having lots of stresses and, and getting you know bullied and verbal abuse and physical abuse. And their telomeres are much shorter than they've been for generations that were ahead of them. In fact, they're going to see the degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and, and cancer and these different things 10 years earlier than their parents because of all the things they're being exposed to. So it's, it's not a good thing that's happening. Now, this is where everything starts to change with the whole telomere scene. So there was less than 100 articles written on telomeres uh, since the 1950s. And then Bill Andrews discovers the human telomerase gene which can lengthen telomeres. This caused a lot of excitement when they proved that they can lengthen telomeres. So let's talk about this telomerase gene. It's in every cell. It's like a factory and it adds nucleotides to the ends of the new copied chromosomes and keeps them long. So it lengthens the telomeres so there's no deterioration. Now this human telomerase gene or factory is in every cell but it's, it's suppressed in all of them except one place the reproductive cells. The reproductive cells, the telomerase gene is turned on. All the other cells, it's there, but it's not turned on. So it's like the light switch is in there, but nobody's turning it on. It's not getting the enzyme to turn it on. So let's, let's do the scenario with the reproductive cells and what's happening. So the cells divide in the reproductive cells just like they do everywhere else. And it's preparing to die. It copies the chromosome, and it's shorter. But what happens with the reproductive cells is the human telomerase gene re-adds nucleotides in the reproductive cells to the ends of those new chromosomes and it regrows them back out so that they're exactly the same as the original one. That was a huge find. That was a big breakthrough. They found that in the early 1990s and what that means is so when this cell divides this chromosome is running the new cell and it's exactly the same as the chromosome that was running the original one. Cell division after cell division after cell division, it has the chromosome and DNA that the original cell had. They call it an immortal cell. There's no signs of aging, no signs of deterioration. It can go on and divide infinite amount of times. It doesn't age. There's no deterioration. And the reason why that's so important, this could be a huge moment for you if you get this. We know that aging takes place in the cells. We know where it takes place and why it takes place. So imagine you're 40 years old and you have a baby. How old are the cells in your body as the parent? They're 40 years old, right? And you have the deterioration within every cell that a 40-year-old would have. 
So why is that baby younger than the parents when it's born? That baby's skin, hair, eyes, and organs should be just as old as the parents because it inherited cells from the parents to procreate that baby. But the baby's not as old as the parents. It's younger. Well, how in the world could that happen from a parent that has 40-year-old cells? Well, we now know why. Bill discovered. There's no aging that takes place with the reproductive cells. They're immortal. There's no signs of aging. So that baby is younger than you because it started out with brand new cells that you gave it. So that was a huge breakthrough. And what they, their next goal was then, how do we turn this human telomerase gene back on in all of the other cells? Because the gene is there, it's just not getting the enzyme. So let's see if we can find an enzyme. So in the early 1990s, they discovered that, and they got to work. And by the late 1990s, they had screened over 304,000 compounds to try and get it to trigger the telomerase gene. Out of 304,000 attempts, they found eight. They're called positive controlled compounds. And this is the, the potency level of those compounds' ability to trigger the telomerase to produce that, those nucleotides. Okay, so this is the potency level. 304,000 attempts, they found eight. Listen to what they did with these compounds. It, fascinating. Pay, pay special attention to this video. It's very, it has a, it's a very information packed, and we'll go over it after it talks about it. In 1997, we inserted the telomerase gene into normal human skin cells grown in a petri dish. When we observed that the telomerase enzyme was being produced in these cells, we then assayed the telomere links. We noticed that the skin cells were essentially becoming immortal. There was virtually no limit to the number of times the cells could divide. When the lengths of the telomeres were assayed and we got the results in, we observed that the telomerase cells had actually lengthened their telomeres rather than seeing the telomeres get shorter. The critical question then was whether or not the cells were becoming younger. A few years later, another lab inserted the telomerase gene, the same gene we were using, that already had very short telomeres. These cells were then grown into the skin at the back of mice. Now, in this experiment, they had old mice, young mice, and telomerized mice. When looking at the old mice, we noticed that the skin was getting wrinkled. It blistered easily, and we noticed some gray hair. As for the young and telomerized mice, there was virtually no difference. When we looked at the gene expression patterns between the young and telomerized mice, we noticed that the genes being expressed were virtually identical between the two. This created very exciting possibilities for us because it was the first evidence showing that telomerase cells actually return to a young morphology. They look young. They express the same genes as young cells. And this is where the impact of telomerase on aging is truly going to have a lot of potential and excitement. Okay, so this is where the big breakthrough happened. They, they took these eight compounds, and when they finally found those, as they inserted them into normal human skin cells that were being grown in a petri dish, as the cells were dividing, the telomeres weren't getting shorter. They were getting longer. But they're supposed to get shorter in skin cells, right? But they weren't in this case. He says they were essentially becoming immortal. There was no limit to the amount of times they could divide. They were starting to act like the reproductive cells. Now, in their screening process and the equipment that they invented to do this, they couldn't tell what was happening to the DNA. And he said in the video they lent those compounds to another lab. It was actually Harvard Medical School, and they put them into mice. Now, in the mice, it, remember Dr. McCola showed that picture where it went from old to young. Now, was that just appearing on the outside? What was happening? Well, as they did that with the telomerase gene, and they, they took these old mice and made them young, they could then compare the DNA, the gene expression pattern in these telomerized mice to mice that were already young. They could compare the gene expression pattern. And in the video here, he said, the gene expression pattern was identical. We literally returned the DNA back to a young morphology. They did it. They reversed the aging process, not just on the outside and the appearance, but all the way down to where it matters most, your genetic imprint. Now, again, they couldn't use these compounds because they were too toxic. But by the late 1990s, they had proved that they could reverse the aging process in every parameter. But essentially what they were saying is we took old skin, we could make it young, and then we could keep it there. This is fascinating, I mean, fascinating work that they've been involved with. Now, Bill Andrews, when he was uh, introduced to our company, which I'll get to in a minute here, all of this is the research and what's been going on before product B was even being you know, thought about. Um, but he said, 
nobody's even close to finding compounds like this that are safe that could be used in humans nobody's even close now in an article in L magazine they alluded to the the fact that if you could relengthen telomeres you would take people back to where they were when they were at their superior cells which would be like 23 24 25 pretty amazing stuff pretty pretty huge breakthrough here so uh, essentially this is what they were saying we, we went through this process we've linked every one of these issues and symptoms of aging to this process right here so now what they just did is they took these cells that were already showing the symptoms right so they were old cells degenerate cells and they turned the telomerase gene on in them and they took the cells back to that so imagine cells that are looking like this they're you know exemplifying some kind of symptom or multiple symptoms over here let's say uh, poor eyesight so you're you're wearing reading glasses here because the cells have gotten to this point of deterioration and you take that cell back to that what's gonna happen to the need for the reading glasses you're not gonna need them anymore because you didn't need them when you were younger you needed them as the cells deteriorated as you got older but we just took the cells back to where they were when they were young that's what they were able to do in the lab huge breakthrough and everybody got involved and there has been over a thousand articles written since they discovered that human telomerase gene and was able to prove that in the lab remember there was less than a hundred articles written before now uh, ABC News reported on what Dr. Defino did with those compounds. It was actually Harvard Medical School that they lent those compounds to. Check this out. They get into a little bit more detail than talking about skin and hair. Watch this. And now, eternal youth. Is it in a cage around the corner? News tonight of a breakthrough for some pioneering mice. But we always wonder, what does a fountain of youth for rodents reveal for humans? Here's Sharon Alfonsi reporting. I feel tremendous. In the movie Cocoon, it's a swimming pool that turns back the clock for a group of senior citizens. But now, researchers have found a way not just to stop, but reverse the aging process. The key is something called a telomere. We all have them. They're the tips or caps of your chromosome, seen here in yellow. This is what it looks like in a young adult. But as you grow older, the telomeres become damaged and frayed. And as they stop working, we start aging, experiencing things like hearing and memory loss. Scientists took mice who were prematurely aged, added an enzyme, and essentially turned their telomeres back on. Look at this picture. The mouse on the right has bad skin, gray hair, and is balding. But the one on the left had its telomeres flipped back on. And you could see that uh, essentially you now have a dark coat color, uh, that the hair uh, is restored that the coat has a nice healthy sheen to it. Even more dramatic, the change in brain size. This is before the mice had 75% of a normal brain, like a patient with severe Alzheimer's. But after the telomeres were reactivated, the brain returns to normal size. So the, the implications and you know what's going on here go far beyond the skin and the hair. I mean, they literally restored the organs. This, they said, would be similar to a, 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 a patient with severe Alzheimer's. And here the brain was restored back to 100% capacity. I mean, would that be life-changing for somebody or what? So uh, huge implications here. And again, all of this stems back from the research of Bill Andrews and his research team. So it, it's so exciting to know that Bill Andrews is involved. He's instant credibility. I mean, he was named inventor of the year for him discovering the human telomerase gene. And he's collaborating behind product B. This is, this is significant information. So now here's the announcement of Bill Andrews teaming up with uh, nutraceutical and wellness formulator John Anderson. This was several years ago. There was no product on the horizon. There was just a collaboration that was made by this gentleman here, Peter Greenlaw, who knew both of these people and said, you both need to know each other. And so the introduction was made. John got so excited, he built a $4 million lab right on his backyard on his ranch, brought in all the latest equipment and got to work. John's been formulating nutraceutical products like natural, you know, plant-based products with no chemicals or anything like that in them for over 30 years. He was nature's ways formulator. John started his own company in 2002. It's called Isogenics. And so here the collaboration begins. No product on the horizon. John's just really excited, and he thinks he can contribute to Bill Andrews getting his research to market. So 
I need to say here that we're now transitioning from what I told you about telomerase and research and what Bill was able to do in the lab to talking about product B now and isogenics. And isogenics is not a drug. It's not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any illnesses or diseases, okay? I'm not claiming that here. We're talking about supporting the telomeres. And so um, Bill Andrews continued to explain from the stage, look, we couldn't use those compounds because they were toxic, right? Well, John collaborated, and about a year later, John had put together some formulations and sent them over to Sierra Sciences. It was like 62 different formulations. Bill Andrews tested them in the lab just like they did with these compounds. And guess what? Out of the 62 formulations, they had seven hits with all natural ingredients. You can see the similarities here. They couldn't even get natural ingredients to, to register on the scale for inducing telomerase. Bill Andrews said of John Anderson, it is the greatest collaboration of his lifetime and what John has been able to do with these natural ingredients he says I don't know how he's doing it but by my estimation it puts him in the category of genius you can see the similarities here right so we now have 13 ingredients in product B they have literature now that says product B's ingredients have been proven to induce telomerase well, guess what? A couple weeks ago, they formally announced they found two more ingredients that are off the charts. Significantly more potent than anything that's ever been found. John Anderson said, we are now testing these in live humans in three different labs. SpectraCell Labs, Maria Blasco out of Madrid, Spain, and one other lab. And the results are better than they had hoped for. And he said, be prepared, strap yourself into your seat, because when you see what happens, you're going to be falling out of your seat. He says, this is the new generation of nutrition. You're going to witness miracles and fiction becoming reality. Before these two ingredients were even introduced, uh, and, and the product and these ingredients, we are now told, will be in the product by August 2012. But uh, uh, even before these two ingredients were found, Bill Andrews said product B will have a greater impact on human lives than the internet has had. Very big statements. And uh, we're seeing uh, the miracles in fiction becoming a reality. It's so, it's so awesome to be a part of and to be uh, taking this to people and watching the transformations. We call it youthful aging. We're supporting the telomeres. So on the first day that they released it. It was August 2011. It was, I think it was August 16th. They sold $1.4 million in just a couple hours. They just had their biggest month in 10 years last month. Their enrollments have more than doubled since Product B has been released. Bill Andrews said, when I heard why you named it Product B for billion dollar product, it made me realize that you didn't understand the full impact of what's about to happen. If you knew what I knew and the role that this is going to play in health, you would have named it Product T for trillion. John Anderson, I already said, he said, I believe this year is the beginning of the next generation of nutrition. We will witness miracles and fiction becoming a reality. You guys, this is it. The product's been released. Uh, it's, it's going very quickly because of the results that it's producing. It's a results-based product. And I, I strongly encourage you to be on it for at least four months before you decide anything because it takes up to 120 days to infiltrate every cell with what you've been putting in the body on a daily basis. Now, Bill Andrews said you should see some kind of physical results within the first three weeks. As far as mental clarity, better energy, better night's sleep, we're seeing those things happen almost immediately for a lot of people. But uh, you want to give this product time to work in and get into every cell and infiltrate it. Now, uh, the way we set it up, uh, in 2002 when they started the company, uh, it's a membership only base. Uh, you get your own wholesale membership. It's on the internet. If you don't have the internet, then you, know, you could uh, use the telephone and call the customer service once you have your account set up by somebody who already has an account. So you want to get back with the person who got you here and they'll set you up with your membership. It's $29 a year. You get your own website. You can put Product B on here, have the video of Bill Andrews talking about Product B, and uh, you can send your friends to that website and they can learn more about Product B. Um, now, uh, the scope and vision of the company is very big. 
they want to be the largest wellness company in the world. They want to impact world health and create the healthiest people in the world. Now, they know that they could price this product out of the range of many people because of the results that it's producing. But that would only be focused on a certain uh, you know, segment of society, people who are wealthy enough to afford a product that's four, five, six hundred dollars $600 a month. Their scope and their vision is much bigger than that. They truly want to impact everybody's health. And so they priced it at a range that everybody could afford it. I've never had anybody question the price or even you know, look at the price of the product from keeping them from trying it. They priced it at $77 a bottle. One bottle is enough for a one-month supply for one person. It's in capsule form. It's 120 capsules, and you do four a day, two in the morning, two at night, with or without food. Okay, uh, Very easy to take, very safe. The ingredients are on the GRAS list from the FDA, which means generally regarded as safe for a wellness company, meaning that there's a list of ingredients that the FDA has put together that they know don't cause any side effects. And the ingredients in product B are on the GRAS list. Um, if you get two bottles, it reduces the price to $72 a bottle. So you're saving $10. That's enough for two people for one month if you get two bottles. Okay, so. I want you to get back with the person who got you here. I want to go over uh, one other thing here, and that is uh, kind of an overall view of what we just talked about and then the opportunity that this presents. So uh, at con when you're conceived, you have 15,000 bases on your, on your uh, chromosomes, on the telomeres. By the time you're born, you have already lost 5,000 in the womb because your cells are dividing so quickly. And then we know we have another 60 or so years to lose another 5,000, and then we die. So Bill conceived the idea of reversing the aging process at the ripe old age of six. His dad started talking him into reversing the aging process at, at six. By 12 years old, he said he was fully committed. By the early 1990s, he discovered the human telomerase gene. By the late 1990s, he found compounds to turn it on in all of the suppressed cells. Now, Peter Greenlaw saw the genius of both of John Anderson and Bill Andrews and introduced them to each other, and the collaboration began. Just a few short years later, product B is released. You are here. This is a special moment in time. Being in the right place at the right time presents itself as an incredible opportunity for you entrepreneurial-minded people. Look, on the wealth line, there's something that's known as the first 5%. People who are introduced to something that is going to be a game changer have the opportunity to become millionaires. The first 5%, it's almost a given if they seize it. Now, just because you see it doesn't mean you're going to become wealthy. But if you seize it and you get into action, the likelihood is very, very high because the fastest growth happens in the beginning. And there is still an opportunity when 50% are on the product. Now, we're in the 0.001% club right now, you guys. Nobody knows about product B. There are, there's not very many people on product B. There's over 300 million people in the United States. There's less than 100,000 people on product B. There's opportunity for incredible growth.
Have a, uh, have a great evening. Bye-bye.